The question I ask myself from time to time is why do I coyote hunt? For one, I enjoy it. I enjoy the outdoors. I enjoy the hunting portion. Uh, but in a minute, you're going to get to see more. The man you're fixing to indirectly meet gets up every morning just like we do. He puts his pants on. He gets ready for work. And he does what him and a lot just like him do to feed their family. It's not easy. It's a way of life, just like everybody else's. He works his tail off like many like him so his family can be fed, so we can be fed, so his way of life will continue as he knows it. And as he sleeps, me and many like me that hunt coyotes, we do what we can do to keep his interest at heart. This baby right here and many just like him need us out there to keep the numbers in check. Folks, as graphic as this may seem, Nature is not pretty if the numbers are not kept controlled and there's more than needs to be. This is a very, very daily day occurrence. And then all that time that he spent to feed his family was wasted. And here's what you'll see when I'm out there trying to help and enjoying the sport that I love. This is one of those nights, didn't matter how you set up, the cows came. Yeah. I like it. Where'd I hit him? Oh, maybe. Nope. At the shoulder. Oh, okay. And then it blew out that other side right, right. there. Right. And then it just blew him out. There you go. Well, one thing about it, he won't be making any more tracks here. Yeah, I'm pretty envious of Adam. My equipment's down and he's getting to have all the fun. Yeah, this coyote had a bum leg. Took him a long time to get there. He circled around, he was kind of distracted. But uh, Adam finally shot him at 200. And it worked out. If he crosses this fence, I might pop him. He's on the other side of the truck now. He's coming. He likes that. Keep it going. Keep that going. Other side of the pump station right now. Yes. It's very distracted. I'm shooting. Got him? Yep. Dropped him. Ha <laughs> ha, son of a gun. Awesome. Pretty sad when you got a million dollars worth of thermal equipment. You got one broke down. You got one in your pocket. And we're having to walk around and look for your equipment. <laughs> I know. All right. Now I got to find the caller. It's, I can hear it. <laughs> That's what makes it easy. Yeah, I should probably bring my thermal up here. You got the handheld? I don't. Well, the car. Grab a thermal, dude. It'd be so much easier. <laughs> it's right here. Ten, ten billion dollars worth of equipment, and you're leaving it over there. Well, I know. What the hell? I don't think he got much past that ridge, dude, because... Right there. You got him? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, my shit's broken. I feel like a damn guy. You ought to be paying me for this shit. Yeah, I'm worried to get the bill on this one. Yeah, ah, oh, dang. Hey, but that's two for two. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. Now watch me trip and fall and break an ankle. 
You ain't got no workman's comp, dude. I don't got workers' comp, but I well, got I'm working for you, boss. <laughs> I believe that's a male, ain't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a decent yes. decent male. Got a long shaggy hair on the bottom of that belly. Yeah, he does. He's pretty old. Look at his teeth and see how old he is. Yeah, it's a second year coat. He was carrying this back leg. Which one? This one. Oh, he stinks. That one? Yeah. It looks like it's working. Good job, bud. Another one. Hell yeah, give me a thumbs up. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Adam saw this cow come down the hill from the big cleachy pit you see in the top left corner. And uh, he just never would commit. We watched him, or Adam watched him for a long time. Just about to give up on the whole stand. And he swung around and, and should have been paying attention the other way, but you never know. Oh, here we go. Adam screamed at him like he was mad at him. Now remember, I can't see, so I have to guess what he's doing. I howled to stop him. <laughs> and for not seeing what's going on, I couldn't have stopped him at a most odd spot. What did you say? You say you were having a blast? I'm having a blast. Well, I'm proud for you. <laughs> At least you found somebody that will call for you. Absolutely. But you know what? It's hard to call when you don't know what the cow's doing. I agree. I can't. I don't know if I need to turn it up, turn it down, change sounds, bark at him, howl at him. Plays ZZ Top, I have no clue what to do. I've always heard ZZ Top's the best way to do go. Well, that was nice of him to get behind a tree. I know. That's a big dog right here, Alan. Now, he's a calf eater. Yeah, he's a calf eater. He's a calf eater. Look how furred up it is. I know. He, that's not, not a he, is it? I don't know. Yeah. Nope, that's a she. Oh, and she's in heat. Look at there. She's an estrus. Yes, sir. Look at there, she's on, and that's just on the other end too. <laughs> <laughs>